alien news. According to a couple filmmakers, Serena DC and Michael Mazzola, they told the US Sun, which is now in the New York Post. This is where I'm reading this, so take it for what you will. They claim that they have a new set of alien mummies from Peru that they are doing a film on that supposedly there is DNA evidence that they are real. So they are definitely like weird three finger tiny little things. These are different than the aliens from that region, supposed aliens that made uh, headlines last year. Right. Um, but according to them, these are real and there is DNA evidence. So they are four foot tall figures that they, the duo claims x-rays and examinations show that they are not fake. And while they might not be extraterrestrials, okay. here's where we go. They could be evidence of a new species affected by genetic manipulation. Mm. Interesting. I wonder why they go to that. And, like, this picture doesn't really make them look, like, four feet tall. They look very small. Is it like a little mummy? Yeah, it's like a little a little mummified thing mm, that's, like, like, four feet tall. You think so? But look how tiny it is. Like, it's like a skinny. civilization of different species of people that live somewhere on Earth. Oh, like yeah. Like jungle somewhere. Dude, New Guinea. You always yeah. have, like, the, the tiny, or, like, the pygmies, you know? Like, there's a lot of different, you know, the, the, the tribe that... Is still un uh, un island. Yeah, yeah. There, there's still people that are undiscovered, and they've only like seen them with like a drone. Yeah, you know what I mean. They are like, well, there's people on this island. Like what? Like indigenous tribes and stuff. Oh, absolutely. And it's crazy to think that there's like people that live in this world somewhere that have never seen technology, technology, yeah. a light bulb. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like that. Yeah. It's like if you went there, just like turn on your lighter, they would be like, well, fucking what? Yeah, they would yeah. be like, you have got to die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, Demon, you're done. You'd be Demon. dead before you got to the island. Yeah. yeah. So, Just like a blow dart. Right well, there, there. is like there is a bunch of people that like try to go to this island where everyone's like, don't go there. They'll kill you. Um, and yeah, like and they, they get killed. They, they got got. Um, so this is the uh, x-ray of the fingers. And so for anyone that can't really see, they're like long, curled Three fingers, almost like talons, going. Yeah, away. yeah, because they get, oh, yeah, almost like a, curl. yeah, they almost look like a, um, like a lizard talon kind. Of. Or you know what? You know those uh, like little gibbons, those little forest little cute things, but they have the really long, stretchy fingers that they like stick in the little tree holes and pull grubs out. Mm -hmm. That's what, you know the little the little cute guys with the giant eyes. They have those really long, bony oh, fingers to like dig out like grubs out of crevices. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it kind of looks like. It does honestly. look like that. Um, so, according to these filmmakers, they, um, they're alien mummies found in Peru, brought to Mexico. According to them, there is 30% unidentified DNA. This is. This is different from the... Different from the ones that the Mexican government okay. said were, like, oh, said were okay. So these are different, supposedly, according to... The, and that's what they're researching and that they're trying to dive in um, to see more. Um, but, I mean, the greater scientific community is saying that they're fake and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But these filmmakers are trying to dive into it and trying to prove that they're real. Okay. They're not extraterrestrials. They're, um, they're dolls made from animal bones, according to someone trying to dispute that mm -hmm. they made up story. But, I mean, it is interesting. And like you guys were saying, the implications, if it does come out that these are real, does mean that there is, like, some kind of hybrid or some kind of different type of maybe not even human. You know how they say, like, mongoloids and, um, like, you know, there was this, like, separation between, like, the hominin species. And, oh, like, like, a, like a branching of the yeah yeah split. so maybe there's even more branches that we don't here's know. the other thing there's there's entire civilizations in the past that were completely subterranean completely underground that's the same you so like it looks like mole rats like right they were maybe like maybe they were short because through generations they were meant to maybe they were super pale because they didn't get a lot of sun mm -hmm. or maybe you know who knows like oh, that reminds me of the descent Ugh. exactly oh, descent's good uh, th but that's the thing is like evolution's kind of real people adapt uh, you know creatures everything kind of adapts to its surroundings and it's like that's another reason why I think uh, it's possible that maybe Bigfoot lives in cave systems um, it's I think it's very possible because if you Absolutely. look at if you if you Google like um, disappearances. And stuff uh, like in the U.S. for whether it's hunting, hiking, whatever, and then you uh, overlay that over a basically like the a map of the cave systems mm -hmm. in America. Mm -hmm. It's staggering 
the amount and the exact outline of where these cave systems are and where people go missing. Which, if there's something living in the Mammoth Cave System or the Appalachian, Appalachian Mountains, whatever, Aww. it's what did you just say? Well, how for, did you say for it? the people that don't know, apparently it's called Appalachia, the Appalachian Mountain Range. But that is not right to me. Does it? Appalachian. It's like the Appalachian Trail, the Appalachian Trail. Hey, whatever it is, tomato, tomato. I'm sorry. Appalachia. Okay. Appalachia. I can call it. I can call it L.A. I can call it Los Angeles, or I can call it Los Angeles. It's the same thing. Understand? Whales the China. <laughs> <laughs> Tony. Yeah, you look like you have something to say. I got nothing to say. <laughs> Honestly, I do think the fact that we're still finding different species of animals and things like that. Um, they just found like a hundred new species of yes. fish. What? Yes. Yeah. It's some Way. like sea mountain or something like yeah, that. Some crazy yeah, some sea mountain. They just found like hundred, over a hundred new different types of fish. I cannot oh. wait until the two much guru is actually like it right? comes out like that's real. And it's you gonna, heard it here first. It's gonna change our lives. It's in a dream. Oh my god, they're gonna they're gonna call it the scaredy cast too much. The, the scaredy cast search, yeah. Yeah. The oh my god. Scary. Or you know like they'll they'll call something like somebody's name. Like uh it'll be like uh some guy named like Thomas Kendall. It'll be like, Oh, this is Kendall's parrot. You know what I mean? Or like, oh, this is a like some people do that. What if we got our we got to name a cryptid that be, now is a, an actually scientifically studied animal. Scary casts uh whatever the animal is. Scaredy something animal. Sounds so stupid. Yes. <laughs>